Welcome back, everybody. We are painting a 1980s Judge Dredd RPG Muti with a bazooka from uh, the Judge Dredd role-playing game by Games Workshop. And obviously this is a metal miniature by Citadel Miniatures. I honestly thought he was going to come first in this week's community pick, so I had mentally prepared to paint him for him to actually come in a third third what is going on with you guys you picked the cuddly bear which was in yesterday's video um <laughs> thanks for picking that i'm actually quite happy with the final result on that model but yeah i decided i was going to paint this one for fun i wanted to paint him he looks great so yeah he is known as muti with a bazooka from 1983 84 period of time he has a lot of comments online saying that he looks more like he's carrying a lazooka from Rogue Trooper rather than a bazooka. And I can see why they would think that. It does look more like it has like a targeting lens on the front, like a las cannon would in 40k. But ultimately, he's such a cool looking model. He would have been in the Cursed Earth Sagas and actually appeared in Prog 6566. He also got a picture of a poster. He got his picture on a poster by uh, Brian Bolan, if I'm saying that guy's name right, where he is sitting down with some other Mooties eating some pizza in a shopping trolley. He is technically part of the Mooty Brotherhood, and he was led by Morgar, who I have the model sitting here, so I'm probably going to stick him in a community challenge soon. Uh, but yeah, he is wearing a fez. I don't know why that is, but he is. And he's quite runty. He's got clawed feet. He's a proper little mooty. So as you can see, I primed him black, gave him a heavy dry brush of the pallid witch flesh. And then I grabbed the army speed paint, Gravelord Grey, and I'm picking out the gun. Now this is a pretty straightforward model to paint. He doesn't have a huge amount going on with him. I'm technically going to be painting him up as a red leg raider like my other movies. I can see me getting more use out of that group than trying to spread these movies across multiple groups. So I'm just going to focus on making one big group that have a similar paint scheme and then they can all go together and make life a lot easier for me. The next paint to be grabbed if you didn't see it was the magic blue. And I'm now colouring in his shorts, just like I did all the other Mooties that I've painted so far. I quite like the fact that in most games of Judge Dredd, being a Mooty doesn't actually offer you any real tactical advantage. You're not stronger than a human, you're still, if anything, you actually end up weaker. So when building gangs of Mooties, like I'm going to be doing soon, because I've nearly got enough models, you just use the block gang rules makes it a lot simpler a lot easier to just grab figures and play and i love using these judge dread from the 80s they're a little bit smaller than the warlord games but that works for the muties it's gonna look weird for judge models and for citizen models because they look like children but we'll work out how to get them into games some way or another and as you can see, I'm, I'm at this stage, I was unsure if I was going to do the focusing crystals in blue, but I decided to pick out this nice fire orange instead, and I'm going to use that on the weapon. So initially, I'm going to pick out the front crystal, make sure I get a good dollop on it, and then I'm just going to pick out maybe a couple of other places. I'm not sure. I might have to come back. I feel like for that red for that orange to pop probably needs a white undercoat if i'm going to use it somewhere else on the model uh, i then grab the hardened leather and i'm going to use that on his toenails his lovely lovely toenails this character he's so f great to look at he's so full of character um i know he's based off artwork so it's easy to do a characterful model when you've got a piece of artwork to work off but he just looks so funny <laughs> i'm gonna get the tassel on his fez don't know if the tassel actually has a fancier name than tassel that's what we're going with 
nice easy step but make sure I stay clean because I want to get some other colors onto the model so I don't want these flooding into each other then we swiftly move into blood red which will form the other half of the pants making him a red leg raider like the rest of the mooties and then we're also obviously going to use this on the fez now the reason I'm picking this paint scheme is that it's a simple one it's just a 50 50 split I didn't want to go full red because I have the blood pack so there's no need to have extra red going on everywhere but I did want to have a nice noticeable color change so the blue helps play off that red kind of looks like the harlequin from batman color scheme but i do like how it looks and worst case scenario if i swap out the leader model they can go from being the red leg raiders to being the brotherhood of the mutant brotherhood or brotherhood of darkness can't remember what i just said at the beginning of the video and i can just swap out the champions and just play a different Mooty gang with them which is quite nice right I think this is going to be the red all finished now hopefully today or tomorrow I'll be posting a few more RPG stats and character sheets also gonna try and get them added up onto the blog soon if you've not checked out my blog it's over at www.adventureswithpeps.com it's uh I put all my comic reviews book reviews uh, Judge Dredd stuff is all going up there collected in one place easy to use so there there we go and while you're doing all that you might as well hit like subscribe and all that crap and while you're doing that I can start working on the plasmatic bolt now I've learned from Slain that this makes for a really good skin color and I felt this guy needed to be green I've never seen this uh, character colored in in the comics i don't even know if a colored in version of him exists but i felt like a green skinned muti was needed in the group they're pretty safe color wise obviously ape is a lot of brown and skin tones but yeah i've done a lot of skin tone just your basic bog standard crusader flesh tone that i have in the paint set that i own so I wanted to mix it up a little. I'm going to try and do better in the future and just mix up some skin tones. But to begin with, we're going to do this color. Make him look nice and green and weirdly aquatic for some reason. And with the final few swipes, we can go on to the glamour shots and finish up the video. As always, I do appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. Check in over on the community tab. Because I'm going to have this week's uh, selection up for painting. There's going to be some 40k in there. There's going to be some Marvel, some Aliens. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, probably some more Judge Dredd, maybe even some Slain. So go check it out. Go vote. Let me know what I'm painting next week. And as always, cheers for watching. <laughs>